to the next Growing Patch Grub video. So in the last video we were looking at weighing ingredients quickly and in this recipe we'll be using these skills to make some savoury muffins. The recipe is really easy and you can add things that your family like to make them even more delicious. So for this recipe we need the oven on at 200 degrees or 180 fan assisted so I'll just make sure that's the right temperature so it heats up. The next thing we want is a bowl on our weighing scale so we can weigh out our dry ingredients. So we need 225 grams of self-raising flour. So I've made sure my scales are on zero, as we discussed in the last video. And I'm just weighing out 225 grams. So I'm going to pop that in a bigger bowl. Pop it back on the scales, make sure it's on zero. And now I need 50 grams of plain flour. So I'm going to put the 50 grams plain flour and I'm going to pop that in as well. Now the next thing I need is baking powder. So I need my measuring spoons for these. So I'm going to take this out the way. And I need baking powder and I need one teaspoon. So I'm going to make sure I get the right spoon. And I'm going to pop it in. And then with the back of a knife, I'm going to scrape off the excess so I get exactly the right amount. And I'm going to pop that in. Now, I need half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. So, get my half teaspoon. Pop that in. Now, this is a bit trickier to do. So, I'm going to pop it in there. And I'm just going to scrape the excess off there and pop that in. Now I need a quarter of a teaspoon, so make sure you get the right one again. So this is a quarter of salt. So I'm going to do it over here just in case it all pours out too quickly. Now I don't need to measure, uh, scrape it off with the back of a, um, a knife with this one. I'm just going to pop this in. There we go, okay. Then I need some mustard. So I need half a teaspoon of mustard. So get my half measure. Get the lid on. Pop it in, and because this is sort of a powder, I can scrape this off again. So carefully, I'm gonna scrape that off and pop that in. And I'm going to give this a bit of a stir. Next, we need to do the wet ingredients. So we need six tablespoons of oil, sunflower oil or vegetable oil. So I'm going to use my tablespoon here, hold it over the bowl, and do six of these. And I'm using a different bowl from the from the dry ingredients. Now I need 150 grams of yogurt, Greek yogurt, or yogurt, as I should say. So I'm going to get the bowl I've got the oil in, pop it on zero, and I'm going to spoon in 150 grams of Greek yogurt. There we go, so that's in there. Next, I need 125 millilitres of milk. Now, remember for liquids, for I'm going to use a jug. So I need 125. So I'm going to come down very low. So I'm at eye level. And I've got 125 there. And then I'm going to pour that into my bowl as well. I need one egg, so I'm going to break that in, and I need one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. 
So I'm gonna put that in as well. And then I'm gonna give it a really good mix. So this recipe says we need 100 grams of cheese grated and cubed. So half of it needs to be grated and half of it needs to be little cubes. So I'm just gonna weigh my cheese. I'll put on zero. So, oh, that's 100. And I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna grate half and chop half up. So I'm gonna pop it into small cubes. So that's my cheese cubed. Now I need to do grate my other half. my fingers so that's my cheese grated so I'm going to pop that in my mixture and now you can add anything you like you could put sun-dried tomatoes in it you could put some bacon some ham some olives some herbs and today I'm going to put some parsley in so you can just put Probably another, say, um, if you're putting ham or sun-dried tomatoes, maybe about 50 grams. So I'm just going to put some parsley in mine, and I'm just going to put sort of a handful. So I'm going to chop that up very carefully so it's nice and fine. And then pop that in as well. So I've popped my parsley in and I'm just going to mix all the wet ingredients together. And now I'm going to add my wet ingredients to my dry ingredients. Making sure to scrape it all out. Now, when you're making muffins, you need to make sure that you don't over mix your mixture. So you just lightly mix it in, and I'm using a fork for this. So you just literally combine it till you can't see any more of the flour mixture. The mixture's all mixed in, but not too much. And now I'm just gonna line my muffin tin with some paper cases. Now this recipe should make 12. So I shall pop 12 in there and now I'm going to spoon some of the mixture into each case. Not completely filling them but just say three quarters of the way up and you do that until you've completed the whole so if you've got some spare cheese left or some of the ingredients you put in you could maybe sprinkle some on the top so I'm just going to just grate a little bit more cheese and then sprinkle it on the top of my muffins So there are my muffins, I've popped some cheese on the top, so they're ready to go in the oven. So I'm gonna pop them on the middle shelf. And you can get some parent or helper to help you do that. And I'm going to cook those for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna put my timer on. And then we'll come back when the timer goes off. So my timer's going off. So I've got some oven gloves and I'm gonna take them out of the oven. Um, make sure you get an adult to help you do this because your tin is going to be very hot. So. so they are looking great. So I'm just going to gently tap them so the cheese has gone nice and hard on the top, but they're still squidgy. So I'm going to let those cool down and then we'll taste one. So they've all cooled down, so I'm gonna keep these probably in an airtight container, but I'm gonna try one for my morning snack. So have a go and let me know how you get on. See you next time, bye.